Well, um, my name is Masal Blanco and I'm from Colombia. I run a business called Masal Blanco Eco Design. We make jewelry out of recycled materials. And well, in Colombia, there is at least 15% of women have been abused uh, and have been victims of violence. There's 3.7 million of women that, ha that were affected, that were abused by 2015. And at least 3 million of these women were displaced from their lands. So the question is, what can we do to empower women and to actually increase their, their lifestyle and their, their quality of, of life? So um, I believe that creativity and design are a, way, are a great way to improve our, our environment. So what we do is that we design, we develop, and we distribute jewelry made out with these recycled materials. And, uh, and we try to help them. We, we try to help these women that, have, that are in vulnerable conditions. So we want to embellish our women with jewelry that makes them feel special and unique. And uh, we also want to give them a story beyond the pieces and also contribute to the fashion industry in a very conscious way. So the, the materials that we use can make you think outside the, uh, outside the boxes. We work with bones, coconut shells, wire, plastics, and any type of materials that you can imagine. And we basically transform, it, transform them into unexpected art, art pieces. So our, mayor, our main business are with wholesales and with bigger fashion designers. We have worked with at least five of the biggest fashion designers uh, in Colombia. And we have uh, 15 stores that hold our product, including museums and hotels in Colombia. We also do a lot of trade shows, fairs, and we have an, uh, our showroom area in, ba in Barranquilla, Colombia. So um, what do we do, how do we do this? We prepare women that, that are in these vulnerable conditions. We teach them the artisan techniques, and uh, they can develop new products, and in that way, we can actually raise the status of the artisan, the artisan activity. Our differential assets from the other competitors are basically that we hold the social responsibility of inclusion and that we have been working with this recycled and repurposed materials, utilizing these handcraft techniques that we have had from, because it's, it, we do have this handcraft background in, the, in our country. We have also developed strategic alliances with different governmental institutions that have supported our business and they bring us to local uh, trade shows. And uh, we have developed an innovative employment model, so we can actually get to more people, and we can help uh, we can help more communities, and we can develop different systems, like we have different ecosystems. We have also increased our revenue since the materials that we use are recycled, so the cost of the raw materials are really low. And uh, well, we have had the support of the American Chamber of Commerce, the Regional Chamber of Commerce. Also, the government and Sena and ProColombia, which are all governmental institutions that have support our businesses, especially in local trade shows. So our goal is going to be like look forward um, and, and engage new markets uh, through the e-commerce platforms. And we want to be a jewelry company, a design company, but we also want to help our women and we want to empower them this, with all this tool, create new products and create a broader network of entrepreneurial women. So, well, thank you so much. Well, I leave you with this, the, this words, which is basically because we want, jewels are important to make them feel beautiful, but it's more important what you can do about them and feel them inside. So, thank you so much. Thank you. And just a note about format. We have three minutes for Q&A, and I do want to make sure that our judges, if you folks have questions, get those out first, and then I'll look over at Neil. We've got a little bit of time at the end of that three minutes. We'd love to open it up for questions from the audience, but I want to make sure, since the judges have to do the scoring, that if there are burning questions that you have, um, you get them out first. But it's so awesome to see a question from the audience. Thank you. So. Tell us about the numbers. About the numbers, well, how, how, how big are you? How much are you growing? Are you profitable? Yes, well, we, uh, we started back in 2013, mm -hmm. and uh, we have been like growing exponentially. Before, in 2013, we were only in two stores, and yeah. by now we are in 15 stores, including like the Museum of Modern Art. Yeah. And, uh, and well, basically, I, I think that we have, we have grown like the last year, about a 50% of what we had the, like in 2014 and 13. How many women do you employ? 
Well, we do have different ecosystems. So basically, for the beating, we have at least like 30. For uh, the horn coconut shells and those hard work, we employ some, some guys that have been also been victims of the violence. So they have been displaced. We have four of them. And, uh, but we do, ha we do work in different, uh, different environments. So we basically um, like put the things that they can do better and we hire them like depending on, on the work that is, that is going to be done. Them by the hour, by the piece, or uh, well, we do have other women from the correctional facilities, and they unfortunately cannot get paid. So what we do is that we give them materials so they can develop their own jewelry too. Basically, if if they make a bracelet, they can get another one for them. That's how I work in the correctional facilities. At the people that work with the beating, they work with pieces, and the um, the guy that works the the people that works and the coconut shells and the organic materials, they do get paid for days and for hours. So when you go into a new store to, to try to get your products sold there, um, do you talk more about the mission or about the artistry and the, the pieces themselves in terms of the beauty? Well, normally the pieces work for, uh, like talk for themselves. When, when they see the pieces, they, normally, they usually like it. And uh, then I talk about the mission because it's really important to, for them to know about this. It is a huge problem that we have in, in, in Colombia. So I try to encourage them also with the mission. But normally the, the pieces speak for themselves. Have time for one more. So, so long term, what are your other strategies for exposure um, of your pieces? Well, I would like to definitely start ex exporting and also get like a broader network. So that's why we want to look forward to start like the e-commerce uh, market because I think that is like right now we are we are very good in in our region, like actually other cities that we hold our products. So Santa Marta and Cartagena, which are about two hours away, but we want to get like a like an expansion, and we want to get our products into the, into different countries. So we are already working with a com with the governmental institution that is called Pro País. They are in charge of the exports of the of the whole country. So they are helping us to start the process. Mm 